Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Beat the Gun. <laughs> if, if the bed can float, why can't I? What's going on? Why can, also, why can the bed float? But why can't I? Uh, welcome back to more Beat the Gungeon, I, I suppose, is what we're going to kind of be going with here. Effectively, the new save file, 0 to 100%. Today, we're going to be playing as the pilot, going through, getting the past, uh, hopefully getting some NPC unlocks. Maybe we'll work on the, the elevator unlocks, because there's some really good things that you can get there. And uh, probably more importantly, going to be doing the secret floor stuff, at least, at least one. But you know what? I... Uh, Got a couple unlocks here that I must showcase because it happened off camera. Had a little bit of an issue. Two Hegemony Carbines. Okay, these are the things we got, got unlocked up there. Mailbox, decent enough gun. Gamma Ray, it's fine. We These are from the last episode. Uh, box, this one is an exciting one to get. The ability to steal is very, very useful. In Enter the Gungeon, very, very useful. Hot Lead, nice. Both modifiers are just fun. Health upgrades are just good to have if you're new to the game. Rocket Powered Bullet says from yesterday. It's just a damage up. It's just a nice speed bullet speed up damage up. But that's that. We only got three shells or uh, three credits left. But let's pop on in. As far as NPC goes, NPCs go, I would probably like to get Frifle in the Gray Mauser. For, I mean, like, I don't have any control over it. At least as far as I know, there's, there's nothing I can do to make it speed up more likely. That we get them, but it'd be nice to get them because they give us the challenges so that we can hunt down specific enemies so that we can get rewards being items and edge and money credits. Which would be really nice. It would help speed things up quite a bit if we got them early because otherwise we're just, uh, we're killing things for no reason. Can you believe it? But anyways, so basically for the uh, first secret floor here, we're obviously going to want to get two keys. The clown mask is a very good item that I would love to steal. But yeah, we're going to really want to get to get two keys. Ideally, we want to get more keys. The pilot's a pretty solid character to go to the first secret floor as. Because you're less likely to have to sacrifice things to go there. Because he does have the trusty lockpick. Being a 50% chance to unlock something. And the other 50% chance mean that you, you can never unlock it again. It's a trade-off. It's it's kind of like an okay weapon. I, I feel like Pilot is... Pilot is a character of all of them that I think changes the most from being new to the game to being familiar with the game. He has a couple things with him that are a little bit more beginner-friendly. Being... Here, I'll showcase them in a second. Well, I guess I'll showcase them now. Being the hidden compartment increases your maximum ammo capacity, does let you be a little bit less accurate and still have the same thing. You run out of ammo a little bit less. And the shop discount, you know, helping you get hearts and maybe hopefully not sacrificing, um, but not sacrificing power-ups like we were talking about in the last episode. You know, your money, if it has to be spent on health, that means you can't spend it on items. It's important. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a simple thing. It's a simple thing, but it means a lot. The, the better you get at dodging basic things, the less likely you will be uh, needing to purchase any kind of health. You can use your, your money elsewhere. Oh boy. Pilot's got pretty garbage starter, truly. Like, truly. And this is, that's a big reason why I think that, that's one big reason why I think the character's not the greatest for starter care, or for starter players. The other reason kind of being, where's our water barrel? Where's our water barrel? There's not one in here? Rip. Did it explode? I'm actually genuinely confused there. Okay. Well, we'll look around. We'll look around. Maybe we'll get a, a weapon. I mean, maybe we are not going to go to the secret floor today because maybe we don't have the option. We need a liquid-based weapon or a water barrel. Was, I, was there one in that room that just got bopped by the, the guy right away? But yeah, okay, anyway, the reason why I would, I would maybe stray against the, the, the pilot as a as your first character is really minimal. Like, the difference between the characters is not that great. You can get a good run with any character in the beginning, and it really just, it just you'll be fine. It doesn't matter. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a 50% chance on this. Okay. No dice. Because there's no way we're going to get 
enough key. Like, if we get two keys here, great. We're, there's no way in hell we're going to get three keys. Um, we don't need to save our money for anything. The rat key is not a thing yet. That's much later. Don't have the ability to steal. Bubble, bubble Blaster is okay for the dragon's heart. Other than, or Like, it's good for the dragon's heart, but other than that, it's just kind of like, okay. So, all around here, I'm a little bummed. It was suboptimal of me to not, tr probably to try to not um, get two lockpick charges on these if we were, we were going to try to go to the secret floor. But it's looking like we may actually just want to get the bubble blaster after beating the boss. Because I'm not seeing any water barrels here and I know that the bubble blaster should let us in. There's supposed to be more than one water barrel on each floor as well. If you're not aware of what we're doing here for the secret floor, there's supposed to be a water barrel in the one in this room and then another one nearby. You push it into here and there's a button behind the fireplace. Go down to the secret floor, yada yada. You probably know about that if you are <laughs> not not new. But it's it's useful. It's har I would say it's it's harder than the um Harder than the second floor, especially for where you're fighting it in the game. But uh, it's good to do it because if you can get through it and have an okay amount of health, you just get more rewards. You just get more rewards. So it's just, it's generally a good idea. I hate fighting any first floor boss with the pilot starter. Unfortunately, that is the one annoying thing about using the pilot to go to the secret floors is when you're going to the secret floors, you usually put yourself in a situation where you might have to use your starter. And the pilots, you know, we talked about it. The starter ain't too great. The inaccuracy of it is bollock and booty. It's not good. All right. Just get in it. Because the, th the, the thing is like, yeah, obviously, what do I always say about fighting the bosses? Get as far away as you can. With this weapon, that's not very far. Ideally, I'd like to not use my blank here so that I can safely handle the Bullet King and then just maybe find a secret room. Dragon Fire, that's a fun get. And we did indeed get enough money to go and pick this up. Didn't know for sure if we would. I think it should let us in here, right? It it does it's bubbles. It should be any yeah, it should be any liquid-based weapon. So, therefore, we get another shot here. That time it did work. And we got the Gungeon Ant, which normally sucks, but has one of the best transformation synergies, I'd say, in the game. Like, going for, like, from zero to absolute hero. So, it's a nice it's a nice weapon to have in your... Well, hell yeah. Okay. We got Junkin. It's a, yeah, it's a nice weapon to have in your... Uh, in your arsenal the water barrel was in here the bonus water barrel was in there that is that can happen and is so annoying all right so we have an extra thing to wow there's a lot to cover about what just happened here got lucky there kind of get an extra junk hardly a problem junk can get stronger all right what the hell do we cover there's so much just happened but I'll finish my thought on Gungeon Ant. It's great to have it. It's It sucks as a normal weapon. I would hardly recommend using it for someone who's new to the game, especially. Trash Cannon Unlocked for just getting to the Ubalet. Another bad gun, but it has some good synergies as well. Obviously, it fires this. The bouncy shots to leave the loyal on the ground. Switch has an alt fire doing that. This is the fire that's like the, the, uh, the pattern that's okay. So whenever I am actually like forced to use it, I pretty much just do this and then like cycle through that one. So I just never don't have to use it because it's just kind of a bad gun. But if you have to use it, I would use it that way. Most case scenarios, you don't have to use it though. Bubble Blaster, reloading by these, make them go blap. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's not bad. Dragonfire is good. It runs out of ammo really quickly though, making it kind of like only pretty good in my opinion. Other than that, we got Junkin who is an absolute joy to have love the man very small chance to get junk from chests and you want to junk every chest that uh that you don't have keys for because you could get junk which one it could be junkin 
one could be junkin and then other than that you want to make sure you junk uh all chests afterwards like you 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 might want to junk them for junkin even if you have the keys for them it's arguable you might you probably just want to do it because it's really fun because he just just a helpful little familiar I like to do it just because it's fun whether or not it's the logically best way to handle it I feel like it's kind of hit or miss at as soon as you have like um six or seven pieces of junk he turns I, I don't quote me on the exact number uh, when he turns into the paladin he gains the ability to bring you back from the dead once which can be a really handy thing for new players in addition every day all the damage that Junkin does you, you can have him just do it while you're running away if you're truly truly feeling like you need a lot of extra help familiars can be really good for that he's one of the few that can get to the point where he does enough damage where that mo <laughs> might not make you want to rip your hair out so you know he's a good guy he's a dang good guy Dragonfire, great. Probably shouldn't be using up the ammo like crazy, but we just got rewarded with ammo anyway. 660 ammo. Loot bag. Another thing I'd like to steal, because as soon as... These are 9999, so obviously you're not expected to get that much money. The only way to get them, logically, is to steal them, which with items like the box or... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what all we have to start with right now. I'm sure the, yeah, the box. I don't know if we have Aged Bell unlocked or if that's something that comes later. Aged Bell is an amazing item, though. Just, it's a, it's a good idea. It's a good idea to steal those, get them unlocked, because you can get them for cheap later. Once you steal them, once their price goes down to a logical, logical number. I'm not sure if they uh, can show up in chests before you steal them or not. I think, I think they can. Gun Muncher. There's something to be said about munching their guns. Good thing to know about the gun muncher is that the tier of the guns you put in does matter. Uh, both of the tier, like you can't just, and you can put in a great tier and a bad tier. You're gonna only get an okay weapon. You're not gonna get a good weapon unless you put two good weapons in. And even then, you're not even guaranteed to get a great weapon. A good situation to kind of do it in is if you're finding yourself, like you have two guns that you know you're not gonna use and they have a tier that is higher than they're worth. There's a couple scenarios where that happens. There's like a few guns, and I'll talk about them throughout the series. Guns that I I find to be not deserving of their tier. Um, some big ones kind of immediately coming to mind. I'd consider Gilded Gilded Hydra to be really not worth its tier. Easily muncher fodder, as I'd say. Uh, other things, I mean. There's all, all kinds of ones here or there. Can't think of them immediately off the top of my head. That's just the obvious one. So you don't want to... Junk and tip. You do not want to junk chests. If you're, if you're planning on junking all the chests, don't do it unless you have one key. The percentage chance for them to drop junk goes up quite a bit. It might... I don't know if it goes from 5% to like 10%. It's, it's not... Uh, it's not small. It's a huge jump, so you want to, if you're going to junk them anyways, make sure you have a key in your hand when you do that. It increases your chance to get it. Or at the very least, wait until you know you can't get a key. Right here, we know we could get a key. Because every shop is supposed to have one. Got a secret room right there. And it's useless. Thanks, I hate it. So we got uh, a locked cell. We didn't even process who was in there. Flint, hell yeah. Uh, we love Flint. Flint is one of the best NPCs in the game, in my opinion, for in the gungeon. Inside the gungeon itself. Uh, yes, Goopton can give you duct tape, and it's a lot of fun, and he's got a couple good bangers. But Flint has a couple, like, he has, like, three game-changing items that he can sell you. So he's a very, very useful NPC. Very happy to uh, to be getting him here. Getting us the uh, like AK-47 being one of them, the Shelaton key, uh, Baby Good Mimic can potentially be game changing. It would be great today since we have Junkin. Doubles up on your Mimics. We could literally just have two Junkins. I'd love that. Uh, what else he's got? I mean, th those are some big ones already. Ring of Chest Friendship, I think he can sell. Increases your chance to get end of room chests super space turtle unlocked another amazing familiar okay 
Bada bing, bada bow. Let's let you out. My rescuer! I know you had no choice but to vanquish my fellow lock to free me. An unfortunate sacrifice, but a necessary one. Come by my shop whenever you see me. There are many things in my stores that you might find very helpful. Alright, so. There should have been a key in here. We will indeed go for it, but like I said, be a good boy, be a good goil. Go do this first. Now he's got his shield. We're slowly, incrementally making him stronger. Point got his sword. All right, now we could have like we could have lockpicked those. We're gonna do this. We're gonna actually just because because of the nature of the series and where we're at and everything. We already found the secret room. We know we don't need to waste our time blanking. We'll try. We'll try to go to the Abbey of the True Gun. I might get hit because the pressure go gets kind of high. So basically, if you're not aware, to get to the next secret floor, we need to take this to the pedestal on the second chamber. That being said, is the elem? Can I get to? I'm not gonna chance it right now, because we're not gonna do the elevator right now. But I think that we would, we could jump in right now. I don't think there's anything we need to. Do. I don't think we need to unlock him as an NPC. I don't recall for sure. But it doesn't matter. We're not gonna work on start working on that today, anyways. It's okay. I literally I wouldn't be able to uh, do the sacrifices that would be required. Bye bye. Just stay really at a distance here. Stay at a distance, use them tables. Okay. There's the nod key. We could start putting some money into it. This is usually the, um, let's just do it. This is usually, oh, do it blindly. Two junkins. It's good to say it's usually the pathway. We've got the battle standard pathway to the, um, the place we need to go, the little, uh, whatchamacallit, the pedestal. So I'm actually was a little surprised to see that being Flint. Maybe he's just more likely to show up after you unlock him. Gungeon do does have this, um, this little soft thing that it does, like, um, it's not a soft-coated thing, I, or a hard-coated thing, it's a soft-coated thing, I think, where when you get an item, you're more likely, you can just unlock a new one, you're more likely to get it soon. I might blank here just for the uh, the safety of it, just because I want to keep my uh, keep my stankin' thing. Having two Junkins is killer. I was literally just saying that that would be a very good time, and indeed it is. All right, very handy ammo drop there. Otherwise, I was going to use the M19 just because distance was what we needed. All right, so this uh, this gives you. A little bit of a weird ability. I wouldn't even, honestly, I don't know that I'd recommend this for anyone who's playing who's new. I would probably skip this shrine until you feel more comfortable with sacrificing health. It gives me the ability to suck blood from enemies that have that aura around them, which does a little bit of damage. Little bit of damage, not enough to rely on. And has a, a slow draining vampiric effect where you would eventually get some HP back if you were missing some. We're not missing some, so obviously I'm not gonna do no risky business for no risky reward. Okay, yeah. gonna just play like a baby. And this is the thing, if you're ever like really having a hard time in Gungeon, just play like a baby, it's okay. Play like a baby, there's nothing wrong with it. Oh, hell yeah, we're gonna unlock Paradox today too, aren't we? Ha-cha-cha. That's the boss. We could do that. There's nothing wrong with doing that, really, but it's just not the smartest. Can we go out this way? I feel like it's more likely that what we need is going to be over here. Definitely tempted to do a blank there. Do we see the shop? We did see the shop. I might go pick up an extra blank just to kind of... Just, it's something I never like to do. I hate spending money on blanks. We might be able to, yeah. I hate spending money on blanks, but just to for today, as we are trying to aggressively show showcase the secret floors, I might want another blank to my name. Bite me, video game. Bite me. So, Gungeon has a scripted troll engine. It doesn't, but sometimes it feels like it does. 
Really, really hoping that uh, the pedestal we need is not beyond that trap room. Another soft pip for getting to this floor. I'd say skip the trap rooms if you don't have to do them. Skip them until it's proven that you have to do them, you know? Might as well not put yourself through the chance. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> no, there's no benefit to what I'm doing. It's just funny looking. All right. Okay. Looks like we're going to maybe have to go through the trap room. It doesn't seem like... I doubt that it's there. Honestly, today's a junkin' day, baby. Give them, give them their plumes. All right, I hate this. It's... It's... This is... This is a weird one. This is a weird one, because it's like... It's on a weird timer, where sometimes it's so easy, and sometimes you feel like you have to wait for 12 minutes. All right, it was up here. We did it. We had the full full clear, basically. So we'll come back for that, just be being smart that way. And same thing here, we'll actually, we'll come back for that. We were slightly irresponsible to junk the chest without a key. But it didn't matter, the, the payoff was fine. There's a key. I'm gonna junk it. We don't have a lot of keys. All right, bad payoff. AKA, no payoff. All right. Gun snake is indeed bad. It's a good thing to, <laughs> good thing to note. Rough enemy. Uh, you know, everyone jokes about it. It's a, it's a meme that everybody hates it, this character, this this boss. It's a meme because it's founded on the fact that it's kind of annoying even if you get used to the game because there's more RNG in its movement patterns. It's a harder, harder to predict movement pattern than a lot of other bosses. But, you know. Not too bad. Junk unlocked? Uh, what? What though? So this is, um, this... I thought this... Yeah, this has a synergy so that it's supposed to put an aura around your allies, but it's a there's a bug with Junkin. It doesn't do it with Junkin. I think that it might be due to the fact that it is multi-tiered maybe it does it at the beginning tier and it doesn't do it at these or something on accident but it's it's weird it's a it's a bug they're supposed to have that little damaging aura around them and it will probably never get fixed i could get a heart locket you know what we're not really going to be using our keys too much today and we sacrificed an hp just to you know just to play around with that darn shrine I already checked here, didn't I? Okay, so I guess um, it's either in a weird place or it's here, and I missed it. All right, that's fine. Okay, down to the next. We will double check. Was there a key for sale? I might want to take a key with. Let's start putting money in that. Start putting money in the darn Nod key. Down we go, baby. Down we go. Blood brooch unlocked. A nice-ish item. <laughs> I don't know. I started saying nice, but it's, it's okay. It gives you the basically the ability to get health back when you do a certain amount of damage. It's one of those items that helps you a lot more than you think. It's, it is a good item. I'm hard on it by saying it's nice-ish. It does give you curse, which is a whole thing that we have not really talked about. Curse is not really... It's it's It can be bad if you get too much of it. Obviously, you don't want to get more than nine points of curse. Nine points of curse summons the Lord of the Jam, which is a problem, especially for new players. If you're like if you're really up there in like the amount of hours you played the game, you got comfortable with it and everything, you can have them following you, and it's not that big of a deal. The trade-off can be fine. But if you're new at the game, just don't go above nine curse. You're probably gonna die. Don't go above nine curse. Most things most things that increase your curse increase it by one. There is a handful of things that increase it by two. And there's a couple environmental things like the mirror. The mirror chest that increase it by 3.5. It's a good idea to keep a good 
solid tab on um, where your curse is at. Above 9 is a problem. It increases their health by 300% when they're jammed. Whoop. And the higher you're jammed, the more likely they are to be jammed. They also get movement speed up. And all red shots and red enemies doing melee damage do a full heart of damage. But not if you have a shield. If you have a shield, it just does the same one hit. So it's kind of nice if you find yourself with a lot of curse. And you have to pick between a half heart and a shield in a shop. Go for the shield. If you're finding yourself with a lot of jam, boys. Alright. So there's actually two secret... Oh, I wish we had the ability to steal. Uh, there's actually two secret rooms on this floor. I'm going to sell this sucker. It's not a very good item. It's just, it's just kind of bad. Galactic Medal of Valor is kind of great. And I'm torn between this. Because this is an okay gun. And it's probably what I'd like to use when I'm... You know what? Let's just... Let's explore a little bit more floor. Because this is probably what I'll use when I'm out of ammo in the dragon fire. Because it's nice and safe at a distance. You can you can play it safe still. Also, in fact, I should probably just be using it right now. So we can... The, the boss on this floor, he's a, he's a bit of a doozy. He's way harder than anything else we're going to fight for the rest of the run. I, I think. Not like... He's the kind of thing where it's only because you're fighting him here. But I think he's way harder than the dragon... <laughs> Compared to where you fight him, for how much health he has, the types of attack he attacks he does, I think he's harder than the dragon. So you gotta, you gotta be kind of stocked up for this. This is not really a beginner place to go, probably. I I say like if you're looking for the the path to maybe go for as a new player, I'd say get used to the sewers. Like go to the sewers. Ooh, mama. Interesting thing there, too. Get used to the sewers. Practice it a lot so that it's, uh, you know, it's more second nature. And then you can use it as a way to get yourself stronger, more OP. Uh, I would, you know, unless you really feel like practicing the hell out of... That was rude. The hell out of this floor. Hey, you know, maybe skip it as a newer player for a bit. I'd say probably. If you can get through it, the same thing goes with the sewers, though. If you can get through it and you have an okay amount of health afterwards, it's obviously good. Like, it just makes your run just so much stronger. If you can get to yourself to max HP again after this floor, then it was strictly a good idea to go. Okay. So this is lies. I feel like we need to... Hmm gives you an item if it opens or we can just junk it which should unlock lies and it gives them the cloak here not only unlock lies but it's already unlocked it's truly but uh it fills it out in our ammo nomicon that's kind of what we're gonna be going for super space turtle gold junk unlock battle standard junk blood brooch all right Oh boy, we got lots to go. We are going to attempt to color this all up. Filling all the lines. Okay. Send them. Good deal. Should be the boss. Oops. It was indeed. I didn't mean to get dip out of there that fast. So, uh, we got like a lot of options here. The Pop Pop Shrine is really fun. It basically is the Shadow Bullets effect. And the more money you put in, the more Shadow Bullets effect you get. So I'm kind of thinking... We... Get... Galactic Metal of Valor increases our damage by quite a bit. And then we do a little bit of that. And then at this point... Maybe we do sell this? This is at what? 35... I kind of want to get a key. I, I think that I'm going to wait until after the boss to do anything about those chests. Because uh, we might get a key, increasing our chance of actually getting a valuable thing. And then I'll do that. And we're just going to end up doing the boss with Dragon Fire and probably a little bit of Bubble Blaster. But we also have Galactic Metal of Valor and Double Pop Pop effects. So it does not visually follow the same pattern as the Shadow Bullets. 
But you know it's working if you're firing a lot more bullets than you normally would. Same pattern for this boss as a lot of others. You wanna do big circles around them usually, or at the very least, you wanna stay as far away as possible and the best, easiest way to do, geez, to do it is, uh, I knew that was coming at some point there, is to do big concentric circles because he slowly follows you and it's a big room. Whoop. This actually does a ton of damage if you can hit him with it. The problem is just hitting him with it. It's unsafe. Okay. And that's that. <laughs> that's the whole fight. We could have done that perfect if we had literally any blank. We unlocked the bloody scarf, which sucks. Hate the bloody scarf. Some people like it. I think they're lying. And then we get this lovely son of a gun over here. The chance to get junk does not increase the more you get junk. Heck Blaster is amazing. For two reasons. Ba -da -ba! We got the Great Queen Ant, which is the synergy I was talking about. Heck Blaster is also just a good thing to have if you have a lot of jammed enemies, which we don't yet. But maybe we will. Okay. This is the rank of Junkin that saves your life if you die. We are probably going to upgrade him one more time, though. Because, uh, it's just my jam. Where's that? Where's my other one? Are they just stacked on top of each other? They're just stacked on top of each other. There we go. We got max rank junkin times two, man. Just like that. So now we don't need to junk any more chests. Though, if there is a red chest or higher, I am going to junk it. Glacier is okay. It's a nice, like, safe weapon because it does the explosive effect and a freeze effect, causing enemies to move slower, shoot slower, and you can break bullets. So it's, like, a good safe thing to have, but it's, like, it's a good thing for locking down one big enemy, but not really even bosses because it just doesn't do a ton of damage, in my opinion. I mean, it's just a fact that it doesn't do a ton of damage. All right. Other than that, Heck Blaster, just a, it's just a nice gun that lasts a long time. And if you hit a jammed enemy with it, it unjams them. So it's really like if you can have it on a run where you normally... Oh, holy moly. If you got like nine curse or something and you get the heck blaster, it's a big deal. Because you get all the benefits of having high curse. Because there are some being uh, mostly increased money gain. It's the biggest thing. Also, a lot of the cursed items are good. Not every cursed item, but a lot of the cursed items are good. Bonk. All right. We got ourselves a freaking run. All right. And we probably won't go to the fourth secret floor. Or the third secret floor. The secret floor on the fourth floor. Because, uh, I mean, we're not doing a full suite anyway. We don't got the rat unlocked. And we did, the, we did that yesterday. No other unlock to be had there, I don't believe. No other un unlock to be had, as far as I'm aware. Okay, we could gun munch something. We could gun munch the glacier. It's actually, like, I think it's a higher tier than it's worth. If I remember correctly, I think it might be a, might be like a B tier. We'd have to find another thing to munch. It would probably be the bubble blaster, because truly, like, what it's good for, in my opinion, is largely just uh, <laughs> the, the dragon's heart. It can one-cycle it no matter what else you have, because you don't have to worry about aiming. Just right up there. We can trade a gun for health there. Rarely something I will use. I would probably urge against using it if you can. But you might have to. Okay, you can see that we're stealing his HP there. Alright. Yeah, we got a nice run. We unlocked the battle standard as well. Right? We don't have it, but that would be nice to get. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, Little Bomber, do we have... We don't have the synergy for it. There's a synergy that lets you get a lot of money really easily with that son of a gun. But we're probably going to just uh, fill up this bad boy. Boink. And we're going to probably just, like, speed our way through the rest of this at this point. We got, we got everything we need. We had everything we needed on, like, the second floor. 
as soon as we got the drag on fire, I feel like we were, we were good enough. We we're clean. Clean, good to go. Yoink. <laughs> I walked right into it. I literally, like, walked into it. So we actually, like, want to open up items now. Katana bullets gives us a little bit of curse. Which, if we're going to get a curse on any day, it works today, you know, no problem. Pitchfork, it's actually okay. I think it's okay. It does, sets them on fire, does piercing, very fast fire rate. It's a great secondary, in my opinion. Don't really need it, I guess, with the dragon fire. Does the dragon fire set them on fire? I think it's like a, it has a chance to, doesn't it? Currently, it's not. Could have sworn it had a chance to, at the very least. He just sets himself on fire. That doesn't mean anything. Whoop, up, up, up. But yeah, I like this as a nice secondary. It's really easy to set enemies on fire. Status effect items with piercing, I find to be great. Because you can just set them and forget them. Increasing your DPS by like a hell of a lot. Like, look at that. And that means that we're not using up the ammo in our main gun, which I will want to have for our boss. Okay, I checked that with the dragon fire because I had a feeling that the pitchfork wasn't actually doing enough damage. Katana bullets are having a freak out somewhere. I'll take that. I'd rather not chance the trusty lockpick. Coin crown, increase our gold that we get. Play well, get money. Same deal. Uh, stop if you've heard this one before. You kind of want to go in a big circle around the boss. The further away you are, the easier it is to dodge the attacks. The issue with this boss can be the adds, which you will largely just want to get rid of as soon as possible if you can. Hazmat suit unlocked. Neat. Gun Soul, I don't like it very much. It's a, it does bring you back from the dead, but it's a it's just strictly worse than a lot of other other upgrades, in my opinion. It you can come back from the dead multiple times with it. You do have to get to your body, Dark Souls or Diablo style. You have to get back to your body to pick up your stuff. Otherwise, you have basically what one HP. And your starter equipment so it's like it is not bad but if you're new to the game it's not it might not help you that much also you get it for beating the dragon anyways so like not really a beginner it's true beginner item anyways but the thing is by the time you unlock it, I, I don't know it's just worse than a lot of other bring back to life things i don't know maybe there's a maybe there's something i'm missing with it still but I, not, this is not, this is gonna come across as braggadocious, but I just haven't really gotten to use it very, I haven't really gotten to use its effect very much, so I don't know. Alright, cats suck because uh, they can shoot through walls sometimes, but only kinda? They're weird, they're weird. Okay. We definitely have some things we could get rid of at this point, but I'm just not gonna. Tables are great, because they do a nice... They do make you invincible for, like, a brief moment in time when you flip it, in addition to, obviously, being a flipped table <laughs> and the good things that that comes with. We got... We can hold two spacebar items as the pilot. This is kind of... That's kind of, like, the only thing where I, why I say that it's... Uh, the pilot does get better as you get better at the game. I find that it seems like a lot of newer players have issues utilizing their spacebar effects. Oh my god. And the pilot gets two of them, which can be useful, but also, like, most new players don't get the full effect out of one spacebar item. So throwing in a second one in the mix, it can be a problem. We're gonna keep this for now. If we use it right now, we could flip it three times and it would kill three random rooms on this floor. It would wipe them out for us. But 
the good thing about having it, it does actually give you coolness, which is a stat I'll talk about in a second. And it actually gives you a shot discount while you hold it. So we have reasons to hold it right now. And since we're the pilot, we can actually hold on to it and our lockpick. I would probably drop the lockpick for it, though, to be honest. Like, if I had, if I had to, I probably would. Okay. Boink. Boink. Got ourselves a fusilier. Should be no problem. I'm gonna switch to my trusted lockpick so I don't accidentally use my coin. Because, I mean, I'd like to save it for, uh, for the forge. Hard boss. Mini bosses do not have the boss damage cap. An important thing of note. Whoop. So you can, you can wreck them real quick like that. They don't have that little fail safe. Whoop, up, 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 up. I don't know. Did they, did they increase the ammo in the dragon fire at some point? I think they did in, in Farewell Dawns. I think they made it a bit better. Because it just ran out too quickly. It, it is not bad. Like, it's it's really, like, obviously it's carrying us. I mean, Junkin's carrying us, too. I don't need it, but I'm happy I have it. You know? Happy to have it. Thank you. Alright. Thank you for the key. Stop with the sound. Why'd I junk it? It's just a reflex. There you go, guys. I gave you extra junk just so you could eat it. Truthfully, it's probably not going to end up mattering because we are probably not going to get enough keys for um, for the forge. So it probably won't matter, but it was not a good idea. Because we aren't going to want to... Oh, man. We aren't going to want to buy a key here. Wax wings. Look at this. We're all angels. Me and the, me and the boys. Not going to mess with that. We could sell some stuff. In fact, I am going to sell some stuff. Glacier, not great. Blunderbuss, very bad. Gunsoul, not going to use it. And now worth it. Coin Crown, might as well sell it at this point. Not much left in the game. So we can sell that here, get an extra little bit of a double dip as far as the money goes. And in fact, we're going to actually sell this too. Because I just don't need it. Could sell all a, a junk too. I'm a little worried about, you know. <laughs> God, this is so annoying. A little worried about uh, accidentally selling the junkin. God, wild. Yeah, wallmonger. Big thing about the wallmonger, you do have to kill him in time. If you don't kill him fast enough, you literally just die. Fly over this part. Nice way to make an easier dodge section there if you can. Other than that, kind of want to just stick on one side until you don't have to anymore. Dodge over that one. What is here? I mean the junk. <laughs> the Junkin brothers are going to kill him before I can really show you anything. Frost Giant unlocked. Neat. We are... Uh, I, <laughs> this, I hate this. Makes you uh, invincible as long as you don't move. I find that every time I try to use it, I get myself hit. I just gotta get out of here. I know we already found the secret room, so it doesn't matter. Gotta get out of here. That sound is driving me wild. All right, final floor. Ru gotta remember to do the past. That's the big thing that I'm gonna have to remember right now. Okay. Yeah, I kind of want to just. You see how it. When I flipped that table there, it did an, a circle around it. It broke the bullets. It doesn't just... It does, like, a bigger effect on the actual table flip. So, like, a good move can be dodging into a table and flipping it. It can be really, really handy. Sometimes they can turn enemies. <laughs> I had to double check. I had to make sure. Wreck. Okay. I'm doing a bad thing. I'm doing a bad thing. Always want to be further away if you can. It's easy to get greedy. 
truth be told, there's no way in hell we're, uh, we're losing to the Dragon. I can tell you that. We're more likely to lose in the past than we are to lose to the Dragon, just because I haven't done it in a while. And I don't think we're going to lose in the past, either. Because the pilot is one of the ones that I'm more familiar with. These need to go away. What's up with that? They dropped the katana bullets with with the, with the glitch in them, and then and then said sayonara. We're out. No more updates. Whoop. But anywho, we got a decent chunk of change. I feel like we can buy probably anything we want out of the blacksmith. I usually like to, you know, if you have any master rounds, you get the um, you get the cell creep on the fourth floor. It's another way where you can. Take a little bit of the RNG into your hands a bit by selling the stuff that sucks and hoping to get better stuff from the blacksmith. It's all about, like, roguelikes are a lot of times all about, like, mitigating the bad RNG and trying to instigate some good RNG, you know? Like, trying to take as many situations as you can to, uh, to make your own choices. And selling things is a, is a choice gives you money that you can maybe get something good on the forge so you can sell your your trash on the fourth floor as long as you have any master rounds when you get there if you can get to the if you can get to the forge oops or if you can get to that floor there's a good round a good uh, chance you can okay guys don't be mad oh it's not that it had to be junk wait what Knight in shiny armor. I thought that. Oh, it just says knight in shiny armor. Okay. I thought that it had to give you golden junk when you junked your first red chest. Apparently not. All right. So let's get the bullet kill to pass pick up honestly we don't need any more guns so let's just pick up a couple of these Blue, uh, balloon gun is so cheap we might as well though come on that noise we're like so far away from it too i wonder if it has something to do with like, a glitch with pop pop or something might be the case the further we get from it the quieter it does get though thankfully but we're just going to create more in this room anyway it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it's all good. It's all good. All right. There's our boss. We could go and beat him and be done with it. Or we could just keep rocking. Get our one item. We do have one key. I'm, I'm so bummed about breaking that chest for the golden junk. I thought that the first time you got it, you, you could get it from... Or wait, I think maybe the first time you get it, it has to be from a, a red chest or something, but then after that, it doesn't have to be. Or maybe you get it in a red chest. It has some weird, weird thing to it. And that does give you a special junk and transformation, of which we would have two of, which would be really darn slick. And I'm just going wild here, because I feel like we will probably get enough money to... Uh-oh, that was problem. Probably get enough money to uh, get ammo from the shop. We can break that guy for an extra, usually one or two. Gamma ray. That's Duke. Alright, what was I talking about? Of course not. Oh, it's 33 exactly! That's insane. That's insane. Alright. We got hit. Oh, we got... We even... I didn't even realize we took out the balloon gun. Balloon gun does great damage, but if you get hit with it, uh, you get freaking bopped. We didn't even end up using the iron coins. It's okay, we didn't really... Didn't really need to. I guess we'll fire. I suppose we'll kill him. Kind of wanted to see Junkin do the work. We're hitting the boss damage cap because of Junkin. Like I don't even. I don't need to fire. While they're firing, it's a waste of my ammo, which doesn't matter because we're not. We don't even have bullet hell unlocked yet, so it's not even a problem. Like, there's nothing really on the line here. Alright. And then we'll switch just because I've been talking about it all day. If I then don't end up using it, it's goofy. But we should get a very easy insta-bop on the heart phase with the bullet, the bubble blaster.
All right. Nice. Easy. All right. Double check. We got the bullet kill the past. Oh, shoot. Did we get... Uh, Sunlight Javelin unlocked. What was the first thing, though? Got one, two, three, four, five. Oh, shoot. What was it? I didn't see it. I, I was pressing the scroll wheel, and apparently that counts as pressing a button. We got the, uh, we got Lead God, is what we got. So whatever you get for getting Lead God is what we just got. Because we got one, two, three, four, five. Like I said, we were going to get it on the next run, and we did. We did the full freaking sweep, too. Aside from the fourth floor. God, that is, that is annoying. All right. Well, here we freaking go. Womp. <laughs> Sound. I can't get over it. Dondro, please come back for one more quick hotfix. Please. Please. Help me. Okay, there we go. All right. So now we should just do the pilot's past. Shouldn't have anything to do with Paradox right now. All right. That's what all, that's almost all of it. Z, just grab what's left and let's boogie. Hold on to your space horses. You can't rush something like this. Besides, h one don't have eyes everywhere. There's no way they'll run to anybody out here. Just gotta get the clamp lined up. Unregistered craft sword. This is HM Absolution. Your craft has been scanned and is known to be carrying property of the Imperial Mo. Headed Roni, a man. You will be towed by standard track to power off all systems of life support. Any acts of aggression will be met with supreme prejudice. Comply within 20 seconds. You gotta make the jump and get out of here. There's no time for me to dock, but you don't have a jump drive. Just go. I can't go. Bring it. All right. So this one is, uh, you know, it's wild. It's wild. Completely different. Only in visuals, really. If you truly, truly think about it. We do have our space bar. We should be doing. Okay. Just truly way more bullet hell than any of the other ones. Is really just the big ticket. Should probably kill all the extras. Okay. Yeah, we got bopped a bit there. Whoop. Whoop. I'm actually getting kind of wrecked here. I mean, we're, we're not going to lose. At all. Like, not even close. But it looks bad. We're not getting any of the easier patterns, or what I consider to be the easier patterns here. And... Just blanket. Blanket, it's done. Bada bing, bada bow. Not bad. Not bad. Trusty lockpicks unlocked. Oh, fantastic. Can't believe you did that. Where did you learn those moves? Disarming personality unlocked. Another time. Let's... Get, another time. Let's get out of here. Wingman unlocked. That's the big get. That is an amazing familiar. Don't have to tell me twice. Bum, bum. So, we did get to unlock the paradox here, I do believe. I guess I didn't mention, but to, to get that pool of goop sucked up onto your body, you press the E button or whatever the interact button is. Over that pool, you pick it up, you go beat the game. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Pop on back here. We did indeed get the Paradox unlocked. Uh, not a lot of reason to be playing them right now. We do want to unlock the Gunslinger, which won't be too hard. But they cost five, five credits, which is going to hinder us from getting more items unlocked. Is truly just it. But anywho, pop on back up here. We got 40 to spend. We'll just get the flash ray, and the next time we uh, we load up the file, we will get another set of six. 
But that is that, I believe. There's nothing left to dabble with here. We got a hell of a lot done today. Hell of a lot done. The bed's still floating, but we got a hell of a lot done. Pick up uh, Convict for the next episode. We'll go through, do her past, get even more stuff unlocked. But we're making pretty good headway. That's going to do it for today in the Beat the Gungeon series. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Subscribe for daily Gungeon stuff and plenty more roguelike content or roguelike-ish videos, roguelikes and more every single day. Check it out. Got all kinds of good stuff. Join the Discord if you want more Gungeon help. We have a channel in there, hashtag Gungeon. You can pop on in with the link in the description. Get all kinds of help there. We'd be more than willing to help you in there. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.